I'm thinking about the generations of women who throughout our nation's history have paved the way for this moment tonight. Women who fought and sacrificed so much for equality, liberty, and justice for all. I reflect on their struggle, their determination, and the strength of their vision to see what can be unburdened by what has been. And I stand on their shoulders. But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Because every little girl watching tonight sees that this is a country of possibilities. And to the children of our country, our country has sent you a clear message. Dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see yourselves in a way that others may not, simply because they've never seen it before. But know that we will applaud you every step of the way. The Lucy Burns Museum at the Workhouse Art Center has now reopened with free entry and limited hours. Originally a prison founded by President Theodore Roosevelt, this museum has many stories about American history, including an exhibit on women's suffrage. Check it out if you want to know more about the suffragists who worked towards the 19th Amendment. Looking for your bus information? Here's how to find it using SIS. First, log into Student View. On the taskbar to the left, click on Student Info. Scroll down to the box labeled Transportation, then you can see your bus pickup, drop-off times, as well as what bus you are riding. If you are walking or not taking the bus, the transportation box will be blank. If you have questions about bus assignments, see Ms. Bricker, our school counselor. On June 23rd, 1972, Richard Nixon signed Title IX into law to equalize education in the United States. We used to sit on the sidelines. We used to only be spectators. We were overlooked, undervalued. We weren't seen as profitable, as interesting. Not worth the investment. Then everything changed. States shall on the basis of sex be excluded from, from participation. From participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity or activity receiving federal financial financial assistance. Assistance. 37 words that changed everything. 